Okay, so Surface Laptop 4 has a nice keyboard, nice trackpad, really, really beautiful the screen. That's pretty good design. I wouldn't want this matte thing though, because it's got fairly sharp edges, but you know, it's pretty light and feels, feels flimsy though, to be honest. These hinges, I must admit, are very cool. Just a bit. Trackpad is decent. That's nice. Uh, this Inspiron 13 just feels cheap. I, I'm pretty sure you won't be happy with this one. It's also it's also just warm right here. Hot, kind of hot just running this demo. So I mean, maybe the demo is really intensive. The screen is super heavy. But yeah, I, I don't think I don't think this guy trackpad. The click at least sucks. Maybe the tap is fine, but click really sucks. There's that. Well, this guy's oh my, this this trackpad is coming apart right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy and the keyboard keyboard is good. Display is gorgeous. Yeah, let's see here. Trackpad's okay. Is it still running like a furnace? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this one, oh my gosh, this one is so hot. This is the hottest one I've tested today. That would be a, that would be, I think, a no-go. Except because it's really beautiful otherwise. I mean, in the future, the future maybe. HP Surveyan feels relatively comfortable. Same with the Spectre, but it just runs so hot. This one's not terribly hot, but it's definitely not cool. Yeah, keys are keys are pretty decent. Screen is is nice. Screen is really heavy, but it is a touch screen, so it's gonna be heavier. Okay, so this is an Spiron 147,000. It's all plastic, but it's not too hot just running this demo. It's super super light. Super light. Doesn't have a touch screen. And trackpad's actually not bad. Trackpad's actually pretty decent. Um, it's really got a beautiful screen, even though it's only 1080p. Wow, okay. So this guy's a this guy's an interesting option. I suppose I'd like to have touch screen, but just one thing with this one though. Is it really, really, I mean, it's actually got metal, right? Yeah, this is a me some sort of metal body. Oops, I don't want to hurt that. Looks like it's got USB-C, there's a slot reader and all that good stuff. Um, keyboard's fine. I mean, it looks, it feels cheap, but it's so light. It's really cool. Let's see here. Okay, you are trackpad, not so great. Build quality, pretty good, pretty nice. It is sharp on the corners, don't like that. Oh, the hinge is amazing. That hinge is absolutely amazing. Wow, wow, okay. This is definitely in the running. Let's, let me try this camera or trackpad or keyboard. Okay, keyboard feels sucks. Trackpad sucks. Screen is okay. It's not running hot yet. So that's good news, but not not super impressive. Okay, Samsung. Ugh. I don't like Square, really. QLED, oh that's the thing though, Samsung has like the best displays. This is basically their Lexbook 250GB SSD i5, okay let me test this out a little. Yeah so this one's cool, I'm not really convinced, I'm not really convinced overall. 
Um, but yeah, the two, two in one capability, I'm not sure I really want that. I think I just want a traditional laptop. I'll take the uh, tablet. Take the tablet um, for whatever else. This is still the Spectre. X360. Oh, this one has a different. This one has more the. Um, it's got a 4K touchscreen. My goodness, that's beautiful. But it's got a the, the aspect ratio, a better aspect ratio for product for uh, side by side ups. Okay. And of course, like an HP, it's ridiculously hot. They try to keep the heat off the keyboard, apparently. So, yeah, that's what, uh, this MV, I mean, it's pretty sharp. I don't think, I don't think so. And these guys have really nice, slick screens. The screen is, what about the heat? Eh, yeah, not terrible. Not terrible there on the heating. Screen, yes, this one's not bad, let's see. Typey, typey, typey. Try this. No, I don't really like that one that much. Okay, this guy is ridiculously heavy, which, and it's also fairly warm. I can see it's got some decent heat piping there. Oh, yuck! Yeah, Dale, come on. Okay, so you're the light version. Ooh, this is a two-in-one. So it's basically that, but better, right? Now this guy, as long as it's not ridiculously hot, oh, and it is. Just sitting here doing nothing. It's, okay, not ridiculously hot. It's maybe half the heat of an HP or something. Let's try this out. Okay, so one thing I will say is it's impossible to hold this up and type with it it's just completely impossible. There's no way. So this is more you're really not going to be using the keyboard. Oh gosh. Come on. So that's cool. How's your bench? Okay. Yeah, so the Dells, oh, the Dells, this one's the, my favorite. However, these hinges are just not confidence inspiring. His your send book is pretty decent. Pretty decent here. Oh, it's running a, a speed test program. Yeah. So this guy scored 140. I do think I'd take the MacBook Air over the ZenBook though. So it's it seems pretty quick. An open box laptop. The ASUS certainly has an interesting. Oh, that's hot. That's hot, hot, hot. Just in the BIOS. Wow. It's um, a great keyboard. Mediocre. Ah, actually, trackpad's not bad. A click. Click it. Clicks wherever you'd want it to. I like, of course, the... Um, I mean, this is a nice one. Yeah. Just runs hot. Hot, hot. That's the thing. What in the world is this? I mean, I like how it's um, very rounded. I like these, which are very sharp. So that's a positive. I'm going to go back and take a look at Browser Bench. 142. It's pretty blazing as well. So you got a Ryzen chip in here. I mean, I doubt this would be even Minecraft edition. Oh my god, I'm sure this thing is ridiculously slow. It's it's a really nice build though. I mean it's a kid's laptop but 
So we get a plastic HP. Ouch. Ouch. I don't like sharp edges. Don't like sharp edges. Yeah, this thing is 200 bucks. Can't be. Can't be good. Ethylon. This guy's not terrible, but no. What about? I like how slow this is. I mean, this is just going to be completely unacceptable. Wow. That's not even point in looking. Ah, Lenovo. Okay, haven't tried any Lenovo's today. Oh, these keyboards are nice. Nice keyboards. Okay. I want more of the. This is a Yoga 7i 2 in 1. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Sharp edges everywhere. Ouch. Uh, one's warm, not blazing or anything. It's a 2 in 1, but. Yeah, okay, now we're back to, back to uh, an old favorite, this guy. This guy was pretty interesting. Oh my goodness, look at the yeah, 9i. Expensive. Let's pause here. Okay, I honestly, I don't like the trackpad as much. Keys are crazy good. What are you? You're a 9i14. It's different. It's different than this guy though. This is a glass and this just has a metal all the way around. Um, of course they run they run warm. Just sitting there. Should be pretty pretty fast though. Yeah. Blazing hot. Blazing hot. And so it's pretty much I think it's pretty much between Chromebooks, between Chromebook or, because these are just, Chromebooks fast, my goodness, for web browsing. I mean, these are just ridiculously hot, all of them. And I couldn't, I couldn't use this under 14. It's not even that fast for an <laughs> Core i7. Huh. Let's see what else we got here. This is Dell, okay. I mean, it's it's warm under there, but not ridiculously so. And this is a 13.13.4 HD touchscreen, okay, so it's not gonna be, that's probably why, oh, I like the grassy screen. It's really nice, the, they beveled the edges, yes, so they're not sharp. And the keys are really, are decent. Trackpad only clicks at the bottom. Sound, of course, is terrible. Okay, well, actually, it gets pretty loud, but... Okay. Yeah, of course, and then, we, of course, we love the Spectre, but... It's a furnace. Yeah, okay, so we got the Lenovo... Oh, this is an Elf... Thir what the heck is that? What is that? <laughs> it's a camera down there. Okay, trackpad, it doesn't really click. It doesn't really click. Keyboards, got the great key travel, of course, and the Nova's known for that, right? Jeez. This guy. Well, how hot is it running? Yeah, toasty. Toasty boasty. Let's go check, check, check compared to the MacBook Air, because that's the last thing, last thing I haven't compared to. Okay. And of course we got the, um, this is the MacBook Air. Um, and it's pretty sharp. These, these, these corners aren't, they don't feel bad compared to what I've, what I've been playing with. Um, yeah, this part still feels sharp, but it's still, I mean, the, the lids on that one feel sharp, the lid on that one feels sharp. The lid on that one is a little, little toned down. Not as sharp. Okay, ouch, ouch. Very sharp there. Okay, let's play with the keyboard a little bit. Okay, if to be honest, I don't really like the finish on the trackpad as much. As a lot of the other things I've been using. Of course, it clicks anywhere, which is nice. Doesn't have a touch screen. Edges are fairly sharp. The keys. 
keyboard is interesting because it's very, um, it's kind of heavy, really. Solid, obviously solid build, but yeah, interesting. So let's see here. Yeah, I mean, I think I'd probably pass this one up. Favorites, let's see, favorites. And honestly, the lightness on this guy is just incredible. It's very comfortable. They, they had a good eye for, <laughs> I can't, I don't like the boxiness. It's not hot. Okay, the Zenbook, Zenbook was pretty interesting as well, except it might, except yeah, it's pretty, pretty warm. I like this guy, except the cheapness, cheap, cheapy, cheapy. Anything HP, just, they all ran so hot, I think I can just pretty much skip over them all. The one fell swoop. Unfortunately, the Surface laptops are actually very nice. I would um, almost even consider it. Did they, where do they put their processor? They get warm, but not terribly. I mean, honestly, these are pretty decent. But I think for my needs, Surface Laptop Go, I think for my needs, yeah, so. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Looked at everything in sight. MacBook Air is not what I'd go with. Uh, if I had to pick one, maybe one of the Chromebooks, probably. Maybe not. I don't really know. I haven't found it yet. Haven't found it. Those Inspiron tuning ones aren't bad. I don't know. Have to see what the Chromebooks, what the Chromebooks have, or like.